In this video, we will understand how to set up webhook inside JotForm. So webhook is a URL or link which acts like a bridge to connect applications. It delivers data to other applications as an event happens. So in this video, I'm going to tell you that how you can set up webhook inside JotForm and which will help you to deliver the data to other applications whenever an event will take place. So JotForm is a powerful online application that allows to quickly create custom online forms. So by using JotForm, I have created this employee survey form and my objective is that whenever I'm going to receive a new form submission, then I want to add the form submission details in my Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. So now to automate this entire process, I'm going to use this amazing automation software that is Pably Connect. So this here is the landing page of Pably Connect and now as an existing user, I'm going to sign in. But if you are a new user, you can click on the sign up for free button and every month you will get 100 tasks for free. So as an existing user, I'm going to sign in. So this here is the all applications page. So here I will go to Pably Connect and click on access now to reach my dashboard. In the meanwhile, you can subscribe to our channel. So this here is my dashboard and now in order to create a new workflow, I will go to my right hand side corner and click on this create workflow button. So now in this dialog box appearing, I need to give my workflow a name. So here I've named it as set up webhook inside jot form and on my left hand side, you can see that these are the folders which I've created before. So I want to save this workflow in the folder named as webhook setup because in this video, I'm going to tell you that how you can set up webhook inside jot form. Here I'm going to click on create. So as I did that, now I've arrived on a very important window which consists of trigger and action. So basically trigger and action are the two most important principles or concepts of Pably Connect on which this entire automation will depend. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. Action is an automated response of your trigger application and in a workflow you can only have one trigger but multiple action applications. So now moving to my objective that is to set up webhook inside JotForm. We'll go to Pably Connect and over here in my trigger window, I'm going to search for JotForm as my trigger application. Here it is. And now the trigger event will be new response. So this trigger will start working whenever a new response will be received. So here you can see that a webhook URL is given over here and the instructions are given as well that how you can connect your JotForm with Pably Connect. So this webhook URL will act as a bridge to connect your JotForm with Pably Connect and now I'm going to tell you that how the connection can be established. So this over here is the landing page of JotForm and now I'm going to log into my JotForm account. So here in JotForm, these are my forms. So I want to use this form that is by the name of employee survey form. So over here, you can see that this is the form. It is the employee survey form. So here, let's assume that I am conducting an employee survey in my office. So my objective is to get the details from this response and add the details in Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. So this here is the form which I've created and I want to connect this form with Pably Connect. So now I will go to settings. And in settings, I will go to integrations. So here you can see it says connect your form to other apps. So here in integrations in the search bar, I'm going to search for webhooks and here it is. So over here, you can see that it says webhook is helping you to send submissions to your endpoint. And over here in this add webhook field, I need to mention the webhook. So I'm going to remove this from over here and from Pably Connect, I'm going to copy the webhook URL, which is going to act as a bridge to connect this JotForm with Pably Connect. So over here in JotForm, I'm going to paste the same. Once that is done, I'm going to click on complete integration. So here it says integration ready. You have successfully created your integration. That means JotForm and Pably Connect is successfully connected. So now moving ahead, I'm going to publish this form and over here, I'm going to open this form in a new tab. So let me take you to Pably Connect once again. So over here, you can see it says waiting for webhook response. That means now I need to do a test submission or record so that the data can be recorded over here in the webhook response. So in order to do that, I'm going to do a submission. So now I'm going to do a test submission. So let's say the name is demo and the last name is user. So here the email is of dummy user at the rate pablytutes.com. Now moving to a dummy phone number. So here I'm going to mention the phone number as this. So now moving to the department that is of finance. 
Now over here, I'm going to select the issue as no. So over here, I've mentioned the activity as well. So as you can see that I've mentioned all of the details in this form. So now I'm going to submit it. So here it says, thank you, your submission has been received. That means the JOT form submission is successfully done and the response of the submission would have been captured in Pably Connect. And over here, you can see that I have received the response. So firstly, here you can see the webhook URL. Here you can see the details of the form submission. So here you can see the phone number. Here's the email, last name, first name, department, the suggestion, the answer to the question. And this here is the form title that is employee survey form. So that means over here in Paply Connect, the form submission detail is successfully captured. So this connection was a successful one. And this webhook URL acted as a bridge to connect our job form with Paply Connect. So the first step of this automation is set up. That means now whenever we are going to receive a new response through JotForm, then automatically the details will get captured over here in Pably Connect. So this trigger will instantly capture the new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time. And this webhook URL is going to act as a bridge to connect the JotForm with Pably Connect. So it will deliver the data over here in Pably Connect as an event will take place. Now I want to add those details in my Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. So over here in this action window, I'm going to search for Microsoft Excel. Here it is. And the action event will be to add row to worksheet. So this action event will help me to add a new row to my worksheet. So now I need to establish a connection between Microsoft Excel and Pably Connect. So here I'm going to click on connect. And in order to add a new connection, you just have to connect with your Microsoft Excel account. So here to add a new connection, I've already opened my Microsoft Excel spreadsheet in one of the tabs. So here I'm going to click on connect. And the authorization was successful. So over here, you can see that Microsoft Excel and Pably Connect is successfully connected. So over here, it has detected my drive ID as well. So now moving to the workbook part. So this here is my Microsoft Excel spreadsheet by the name of response employee survey. So these are the columns which are in the sheet and it only consists of one sheet. So in this Microsoft Excel spreadsheet in a new row, I would like to add the details of the form submission. And over here from this workbook drop down, I'm going to search for my workbook and over here it is that is response employee survey. So here I've selected my workbook and over here it has automatically detected the sheet. So as it only consists of one sheet and it is automatically selected over here. So now moving to these details. So over here to mention the details in these fields, I'm going to use a method that is called as mapping. So basically mapping means to insert the data from previous step. So as I have received the response from jot form, so here in these fields, I'm going to map the details from that response. So over here from jot form, I'm going to map the first name that was demo. Now I'm going to map the last name that was user. Here it is. So now I'm going to map the email. So this here is the email. Now moving to other details. So here I'm going to map the phone number. I've mapped it. Moving to the department. So the department was finance. I'm going to map it. So now moving to the issues. So as the answer was of no. So from the response received, I'm going to map the answer. And now I'm going to map the suggestion. So this here was the suggestion. So as you can see that I have mapped the details in these fields. So this method of mapping is important so that every time you are going to receive a new response, so that response could be taken into consideration in these fields. If I would have written this information manually, in that case, this information could have become static, which means that it wouldn't change even if I would have received a new response. So to avoid that problem, we map the information. So as I've mapped the details over here in these fields, so now I'm going to click on save and send test request. So over here, you can see that I have received a response and this here is a positive response. That means in a new row in my Microsoft Excel spreadsheet, the details would have been successfully added. And yes, over here, you can see that in a new row, the details are successfully added. So here that means the details which I've received on JotForm submission are successfully added over here in a new row in this Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. So this automation was a successful one. That means the webhook inside JotForm was set up correctly and it helped us to receive the data of the form submission in Pably Connect, which we were able to add in a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. So now I'm going to show you a real time example as well. So over here, I filled in the details in this JotForm and now I'm going to submit this JotForm. 
So here it says, thank you, your submission has been received. So I'm going to take you to my spreadsheet. And over here, you can see that in a new row, the details of the form submission is successfully added. So this automation is a successful one. And you can set up the webhook inside short form within minutes. You simply have to copy this webhook URL and you have to connect it with your short form by going into settings and go to integrations. You just have to complete the integrations and you are done. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you have any doubts regarding Pabli, reach us at support at And if you have any queries, you can visit us at forum.pabli.com. If you have any pricing related query, you can visit this link. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues. And do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.